Hey everyone, I'm Matt Napoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with the Cisco Developer Relations Program, and I'm joined here with our product manager and a te uh, technical engineering lead from uh, Callisti. Uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Hi everyone, I'm Sabita Krishnamurti. I'm the engineering lead for the Callisti team. And hi, my name is Prasenji Sarkar. I'm the director of product management, leading the Callisti uh, from the forefront. Um, really exciting announcements at Cisco Live coming from Liz around Callisti. Uh, we actually had a DevNet Snack Minute here at Cisco Live as well, talking to Shannon McFarland about uh, Callisti and, and service mesh management. Um, I'm kind of interested. Uh, can you talk about how uh, Callisti can be used within DevOps within an organization and uh, potentially gives an opportunity for organizations to see into what their applications are doing? Absolutely. The whole crux of Callisti is built on top of the Istio service mesh. And Callisti helps you in the overall lifecycle management with Istio. So Istio is one of the most popular service meshes that we have right yeah. now. Uh, however, the, the management of it, it, it is rather complex. It is challenging, yes. Mm -hmm. And so Callisti comes in and helps with the lifecycle management, but it's not just that. It also gives you the ability to have the broader observability. It also integrates with your existing tools, such as if you have a Prometheus or you have Grafana in your oh, environment. Okay. Yeah, so it integrates with that also. So you now have a holistic view of what's happening. You can drill down into every workload, look at the traffic, look at what's going on, down to the protocol levels, and see is this HTTP, you know, GRPC, what kind of traffic is going on. It also gives you the security elements. So you are able to now do MTLS between oh, your individual okay. workloads. And so it gives you a one pane of glass to get lifecycle management, to get observability, to get security. It's a whole, it's a whole deal. <laughs> so, does uh, for the MTLS part, does it actually um, allow us to man not just observe what's going on across MTLS, but uh, set it up and configure it as well? Oh, yes. wow, that's yes. such a pain. <laughs> in, exactly. In, oh my goodness, that's so yes. fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So, Callisti allows for that, and this is, you know, again, you can do this through the UI. You can also do it through a CLI. There's also a GitOps integrated workflow, oh, okay. which Prasenjit covered yesterday yep. in his breakout session as well. Oh, fantastic. Um, so that kind of covers the DevOps part, but I feel like there might be a little bit of a developer bend to this as well, because I know Cisco's trying to put out these yep. more DevOpsy than hopefully up to the enterprise developer tools. Um, right. Is there something that we can see in Calisti that developers, Absolutely. pure developers might Absolutely, see some so we value? created this API for a strategy for Calisti. Oh, and if you look at from Calisti's dashboard or Calisti's standpoint from the single pane of glass, we do have a GraphQL interface uh, that is okay. absolutely fantastic and the documentation is inbuilt within the dashboard itself. So you don't, your learning curve just to about to get to the you know, point that I can use the GraphQL even to do something more jazzy on that Istio service mesh is pretty easy, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's just about one point that you talked about. The second point is developer does not like toil. They yeah. want to remove the toil from you know their daily, daily basis. They want to they want to focus on more on the application code or application logic rather than right. maintaining the infrastructure itself. But today, they are forced to do that. Mm -hmm. But Calisti comes up with a GitOps fundamentals. So within the GitOps fundamentals, you use the you know you use the source code management repository. You use any amount of CI/CD tooling that you want. Right. For example, you know uh, you talk about Argo CD or any other tool that we have, uh, and then you integrate that with the Git, and you know you just use your declarative configuration to make the changes. So you have absolutely the power to not to you know, get anybody else to change the configuration, change the mesh, the way it should work today, yeah. right? From the UI, so everything has to be within the source code management. So source code management is the source of truth for right. the developer, so they just you know they just change the configuration, they just upload that, they just commit the git, uh, uh, they just commit the code, they do a git commit, git push, and once the PR is merged, once the git pull request is merged, that's the time your CI/CD tool chain will come into play, pick up the change, and make sure that the state management is absolutely in sync. So it's going to change that one, and you know graphical user interface that Savita talked about, right? The the, the UI that we have you can absolutely see the immediate change. It's not, there's no lag at the same time, oh, right? It's, it's absolutely, you know, checking the, uh, you know, what is the current state, what is the desired state, and automatically it just do that. So that's our whole developer story. And at the same time, this Calisti is based on open source 
is the operator, Cisco is the operator. So, right. you know, developers are, you know, they are actually committing their changes towards our Cisco is the operator. And, you know, we, we love to have more developers to just come and look what we have built. Yeah. And, you know, if they want to change something, we are absolutely happy to, you know, review their pull request <laughs> and, you know, merge that. Yeah, so that, that feedback loop is not always available in a lot of yeah. other Cisco products, yeah. that's true. So yes, you know, our, our commitment towards open source, our commitment towards API first strategy is absolutely built in with the Calisti platform. Yeah. That's how we made that product. You know, we poured so much of love into that product. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the passion. Um, what I'm hearing are API first and, and GraphQL, yeah. um, uh, tying into the operations that developers are already used to with GitOps, yeah. Yeah. and uh, open source uh, yeah. support. Uh, yeah. to help really nurture and grow the actual application. I yeah. can't think of three better things to talk to developers about uh, to get them excited in using that, right. uh, uh, using Kalisti. Right. Um, you know, one of the challenges that we always run into when talking about um, what is Cisco doing for developers is we say, well, we have a lot of stuff that works in operations, but the right. challenge is to get them actually interested to come down the stack, so right. to speak. Um, to, to show that interest, and it yeah. sounds like we're giving them the opportunity to do that. And even the GraphQL piece is really exciting because that means the API itself exactly. will expand yeah. organically as yeah. you guys build out the product, so yeah. that's really exciting as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, uh, one other notion I was thinking about was um, customers who are potentially already running their applications, um, either in an on-prem data center or in a cloud data center as well, um, how do they, you know, how, how is that supported? Is this just something for new applications that might that they might be putting out? No, no, absolutely not. And you're exactly right. There's a lot of customers today who have legacy infrastructure or their applications mm -hmm. that, you know, a good number of them are still in the legacy environments. Okay. And so their journey toward cloud, toward cloud native, is exactly what Callisti helps them oh, with. Fantastic. Because Callisti is managing not just the workloads within their modern infrastructure, but it's also giving you support for the workloads in virtual machines. Okay. So Callisti gives you that single plane of glass management across both these environments. So you don't have, I mean the customer doesn't have to move all their infrastructure into a cloud native, and so this is perfect for yes. brownfield deployments where customers are trying to migrate, and this enables them to do a phased migration. You know, we could take portions of your application, and you could have, hey, my billing system is running in a cloud native environment, whereas my database is still sitting in a legacy infrastructure. No problem, Callisti can manage, and you can have your service mesh that applies the same level of uh, policies, that gives you the same level of observability, as I said, down to the protocol levels. You can manage your traffic, you can understand how things are operating everything seamlessly across Kubernetes, across containers, and virtual machines all at the same time. That's so exciting, because that kind of hits all the, all the buttons, right? Um, I'm curious, before we, guys, before we let you go, are there, are there any other differentiators that, that maybe we can talk about around Calisti? Absolutely, so we are bringing the industry's first asynchronous and synchronous messaging together in a oh. one single platform. Okay. So Calisti is not only going to manage the synchronous messaging applications, which is in a traditional world you have seen, but the asynchronous messaging plat platform as well. So in the asynchronous messaging platform, we provide Apache Kafka to wow. run on top of the Istio of control plane. So you can actually see the Kafka brokers, you can actually use the MTLS configuration, you can actually see the same routing mechanisms, you can actually use the Istio score functionality such as you know, observability platform and all of that and marry that together with Apache Kafka. So you al we allow Apache Kafka to run on top of the Istio control plane oh, as wow. a container okay. and as a pod. And then we allow the same principles of Istio, same principles of Kubernetes, and at the same time we use the same dashboard even to show you how the application is talking to which protocol. And even we support the protocol observability as well. Mm -hmm. So a, a developer who is actually trying to use a PubSub model they don't need to go outside of the boundary of their Istio control plane or their Kubernetes cluster. At the same time, they can see the visibility, they can have all the goodnesses that Istio comes up with that and you know, get along with it. So that's the industry's first. Calisti platform brings up asynchronous and synchronous messaging platform single-handedly. So not just the differentiator, but the first. Absolutely, industry That's first. Fantastic. Yeah, That's nobody fantastic. has it. Today. So, if yeah. people want to find out more about Callisti, where can they get some more information? They need to go to https callisti.app. So, go ahead with that, uh, you know, uh, website. We are providing that as a free tier offering right now. So, you can run that on top of two Kubernetes clusters. 10 node at a max, and we don't need your credit card information. That's, <laughs> that's, that's really important. Oh, so thank goodness. So you just sign up. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Um, well, I'm really excited about Callisti. You guys definitely are excited about Callisti. Uh, everyone go check it out at Callisti.app, and thank you.